Hey, my name is Matt and welcome to Ranking Tactics. This is another one of our Q&A videos where I take your questions and answer them online. Questions can be about ranking online, uh, writing content, uh, learning about SEO, and everything in between. So this question comes from Lasse Holm. I hope I'm saying your name right. He asks, how could phrase be used or the best practices for non-factual articles? He gives the example of best movies to fall asleep to. So you say this is a non-factual article. Maybe what you mean to say is this is an opinion piece. Uh, because movies are factual, not just like documentaries. But even a fictional movie is factual. The, hung the Hunger Games is factual because there's actors in it. There's uh, characters. There's a plot. There's a storyline. There's a whole narrative. So there's, there's facts about the movie that matter, but is it the best movie to fall asleep to, like The Hunger Games, or is Terminator the best movie to fall asleep to? It's totally opinion-based. So what should you do? And maybe the question is even deeper than that. Maybe the question is, how do you rank for something like that where you have totally an opinion piece? Well, first you go to the SERP and you look at what everybody else is talking about for this particular query. Let's open the Explorer. So this is a very competitive query, 53 movies to fall asleep to when your brain's completely fried. And as you would expect, all of the headings, all the H2s are names of movies or TV shows. I think, so these are all movies. These are all movies here. Very predictable article. You have your, your title, your introduction, your list of movies, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of words about each one. The Princess Bride, 30 words. We can actually open this up and look. The definition of a comfort movie, the framing device is literally the story you read to a kid who isn't feeling well. And I bet you if we opened this up, you'd have a photo of the movie under each one. Yeah, so they, they have a photo of the movie if it loads under each one. And that's typically how you would write this particular article. So step one, when you have an article about something that's based on your opinion, go to the Google SERP first, look at what the results are, look at what everybody else is doing, and that will give you an indication of what you have to do. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. If you said, oh, you're going to come up with this ingenious plan of, instead of talking about movies that are great to fall asleep to, I'm going to talk about categories of movies to fall asleep to. Uh, a drama is a, a great genre to fall asleep to. A, an action movie is not a great genre to, to fall asleep to. You wouldn't rank because that's not what Google is displaying in the, the results. Now, if, if none of these were, if this was not a competitive query and none of these were about movies to fall asleep to, then what I said would not be true. You'd have to then do a little bit more digging. But when everybody's talking about the best movies to fall asleep to, movies to fall asleep, movies to fall asleep, movies to fall asleep, shows to fall asleep, you need to be talking about shows to fall asleep to also. So what I would do is I would think about how competitive is the query? This is very competitive. If you want to beat this, then you're going to have to, first of all, get some backlinks, but you're also going to have to beat out what everybody's talking about. So this is in, in terms of words and also the H2s. So this has, I don't know how many H2s it has, but it has 3,600 words. You'll have to write a longer article. You'll probably need more than 75 items. Maybe you'll need a list of hundred items. Ultimately, this just becomes a numbers game. Okay, uh, he has 75. Okay, I'll have 100. Next guy <laughs> comes along, he'll do 150. Pretty soon you have like some crazy 10,000 word article about like 5,000 different movies that are the best movies to fall asleep to. So to rank here, you will need some backlinks. Not a lot, but you need some or a, or a high domain authority. And you'd need to do more than the competition, most likely. So you probably have to do 100 best movies. And this one's pretty easy because you can just start taking these movies and using them as your H2s. You just take all these things you want, put them all in. It doesn't matter. We go up here and we paste all this stuff in. So imagine this list being like a hundred items long and there's all the different movies you want to talk about. We can use our AI template to spice this up with the meta title spicer. We'll use the AI template to come up with the introduction and a conclusion. You could try to use the AI to write about these particular things. It's almost like writing a product review because you have very specific factual things in here. Ratatouille, it has characters. Those characters have names. 
It has a story. It has a plot. It has different arcs and things like that. You don't want the AI to come up with wrong information. For this particular query, I'd probably write it by hand or send it out to a writer. But going deeper with your question, an opinion piece, how do you rank? You have more words in the competition. You have more items than the competition, assuming it's like a listicle format. And then you look at the optimize. This is really important. In optimize, when we're looking at long tail, typically you want to beat the competition. We can go to SERP scores and look at the, the heat map real quick. Now, here's all the long tail phrases. Now, do you see anything interesting about this? What seems to have a lot here? This Glamour magazine seems to have a lot, and that's why they're probably also ranked number one. Now look at this, the spoke.co. I would be interested. They have a lot just like Glamour. It's like they're almost copying, copying Glamour. I'd be interested to see what their domain authority is. I would I wonder if it's low. Let's check that out really quick. The, the spoke.co, it has a DA of 16 and links 12. It's rated above this DA 87 links 12. They must be doing something better than these guys over here. And also this stuff's pretty competitive. So they must be doing something right. And when we look at the spoke there, you can tell they're copying all off the first one. So I think a lot of their ranking has to do with how closely they're mirroring that first result. So going back to the optimize, let's look at the long tail. Normally I would say for a query like this, it's not important to optimize because you can tell it's kind of all over the place. For example, only four sources mention the phrase romantic movie. But being such a subjective search query, the, the long tails used are kind of all over the place because all kinds of different movies are being mentioned. Only one source mentioned James Cameron. There's not a lot of things to optimize here, which is really interesting. So what I would do in a situation like this is I would just make a big freaking list. And in each list item have kind of what the competition has, 50 words, thereabouts, try using the AI. And the more items you have in the list, naturally, the more of this you're going to cover. I would take that approach to writing and, and ranking your content and seeing how it does. Because there's no, there's no right or wrong way if everybody's kind of doing their own thing. But if everybody has the same movies listed in the SERP, then that's what you need to include also. And then go beyond that, go above that, that level to, to also rank higher. Hope that answered your question. If, you, if it didn't, drop me, drop me a comment and I'll, I'll, try, I'll try again. And if, you, if anybody else has any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'd be more than happy to, to make a video and, and share that with you. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. And until next time, good luck with your content generation and goodbye.